secret model in the making over here. Little Ziggy in the background photobombing. Hello and welcome to part three with Annie Aperture. So this episode is going to be a little longer than part two. I apologize it was so short. Um, it's We're going to do a lot in this episode. Hopefully we can build on her house and get some more done. Beatrice over here, she came over to talk to us. So we'll chat with her for a little bit. And then I do want her to start the freelance photography career. So we'll look into that. I guess Beatrice left us. So let's get started on this job. So we need to go to freelance. Here we go. Let's do that. Select a trade. We want to be Tomorrow's Style. So Tomorrow's Style is a freelance fashion photographer. So we can hire people and select the clothes and take pictures. That actually sounds like fun. Let's see if we can get a gig. Okay. Oh, how does this pay $6,000? What? Y'all, should we try this? How are they going to pay us six grand for our first photo shoot? This one's a thousand and this one's 1300. <gasps> I, I don't qualify for this, but it's 8,000. Okay, so we're about to work. Let's actually, y'all might be mad, but I don't want to go straight for the monies yet. Let's do casual and stylish. And we'll be able to do that on when? Oh, it's due by Wednesday. So what do I have to do? Take a photo of a sim in a thoughtful pose and get the photo approved and then post it to my fashion simstagram. Okay, so before I do that, Annie needs a shower, so we'll take care of that. And then, I think I need to buy some equipment. So what I'm gonna do first actually is I'm gonna take some photos and sell it. And I'm gonna try to see if we can set up a studio. Now, we need to travel and take some photos. All right, so I took Annie to a beach in Tartosa because I wanted a change of scenery. So let's take out her camera and get some good pictures. This is so pretty. Hopefully these sell for more than her normal pictures. She seems happy with them. She got the I Love Photography moodlet. I'm going to have her take a bunch more photos and then, ooh, that's gorgeous. And then I'll be right back. So I ran into the sim while on the beach and it's allowing me to change his outfit for a photo shoot. So I'm going to pick something out, maybe some beach wear and take some pictures of him and see how much money his photos are worth. So we're going to take photos of Paolo? Paolo? Yeah, I don't know how to say his name. But I dressed him in this little outfit for the beach. So we're going to see how much these photos are worth. Okay, y'all look at him. He is for real posing. Look at that shoulder lean. Okay, he's serving. How about we do thoughtful poses? Because I think that's what I need anyway. All right, I want to see the quality of these pictures here that I took of him. Normal, normal. Man, I need some, like, great. Nothing is above normal so far. I'm going to take some more photos of him. Okay. All right. So these look normal, too. We'll have to get old girl a better camera soon. <laughs> but, um, oh, do how many more pictures do I need? I've got 20 pictures. So I'm actually going to take like 10 more pictures of the beach and then I'm going to have her go home and try to sell these pictures. I'm going to submit one of the photos I took of our client for approval. We got pleasing a client fills me with professional pride. Wait, so she pleased the client? All right. Well, I thought she's still waiting for approval, but okay. All right. So let's get on this seller's table, y'all. So she's over here starting her yard sale. I'm still dropping a couple of pictures on here for her to sell. Let's give these people some sales pitches. Wait, she looks like she's going to buy something. We'll see. Oh, yeah. They all are buying. 
Let's go. All right, so the plan for the money is to buy either like a better camera or something. Something to advance her her photography skills. Y'all need to come on. Let's go. Everything here is good quality. I've improved, I promise. All right, this sale is over. She needs to use the restroom. So let's do that. Get you a quick meal. Let's get some yogurt. Oh, no. All right, well, here's the thing. We have a ghost over here, Felix. If we exercise him, we'll probably get some money for doing that. Let's go confront him. Oh, okay. So we took care of the haunting and we got $92. Now we're being rained on, but that's okay though because we have a house to go into. And I use that term loosely, but <laughs> we do have a spot. So let's get in here and take, um, well not take a nap, we need to go to sleep. All right, so we sent another photo for client approval. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on her wall so that we can upload this to Simstagram. Now we're on the road to fame, that's cool. We gained 20 followers, so that's cool. So we did get rejected on one of the photos, but that's okay though. I just went ahead and submitted all the photos for client approval. We did get approved. The client has approved your photo. What a fo uh, fantastic shot. Approved photos arrive in the mail in the next one or two days. So check your mailbox and then post the photo. So we'll do that. And we should get a good payout for that. You know what? Let's get some pictures in the rain. All right. So we're going to take some photos in the rain and see what happens. Since she's scared, I'll let her come back inside. I can sell them on the table. You know what, though? I should be able to start a yard sale because... It's sheltered over here, at least for her. So let's go over here and tend this table. I hope none of these Sims get hurt. But you know what? That's the risk we're willing to take to buy some photography equipment. We only have two more pictures. Get them while you can. Thank you. All right, we're done here. The table is clear. Let's go home. We've got $500. I'll let her sleep it off since it's raining and we don't have anything else to do. All right, she's up. She needs to take care of her needs. Unfortunately, I don't know what to do as far as fun because she doesn't have anything. Maybe we need to go back and visit either Ziggy or Beatrice and watch their TV because we have nothing. I forgot. We can like read the Wilderness Digest in one of these tents and just kind of chill out for a little bit. I'm going to create a tiny house club and we're going to add Beatrice and Ziggy. We're going to have our own private club and just hang out and do some fun stuff. All right, so I'm going to start a gathering at her house and I'm going to take pictures of everybody for some money. Y'all, that's cute. Look at Beatrice. She is adorable. Okay. Secret model in the making over here. Little Ziggy in the background photo bombing. I love it. Now let's take some photos of Ziggy. Y'all are my models. Did they just hug? That's adorable. Oops, Beatrice is in the way. But I'm just gonna take some photos anyway. We'll get a picture of his eye. Y'all, I feel left out. Ziggy and Beatrice are so close. They over here sharing secrets. So let's go pay our bills and our rent. Luckily, it's not much. Let's pick up our mail. So I think we got our photos back. So I'm going to pull out these photos of our model. And I'm going to post them and see which one is the one that she took for approval. I don't even know anymore. Upload to Instagram. We got 80 followers now. Now what I'm going to do is sell these to publication. We posted it all. So. All right. So we got $585. Our photos received such positive response that the client decided to use it for an international marketing campaign. There is no extra pay, but it's great exposure. Cool beans. I'm just going to keep selling these photos to the publication. Maybe Annie will be a proper celebrity. Let's see how much a better camera is going to cost. 
move so we can afford this tripod. This one's the average digital camera and this really expensive one's 2000 Let's go ahead and get this average one and then I'm going to sell her old camera. And then I must quickly sell these photos of Beatrice and them. I don't feel like having a, a sell for that. So now we got a better camera so technically we should make more money off the photos we take with it so let's travel somewhere all right so i brought annie down here to the beach because what i'm gonna do is get her another gig we'll do the everyday activities because it's worth a lot so everyday sims get up and put on clothes but most sims could stand to be a bit more stylish so the client wants a photo of a sim in everyday wear so we'll put them We'll put um, Rhonda here in a nice little outfit, and we'll take pictures of her on the beach. So let's go ahead and plan her outfits. All right, so here we have Rhonda, and look at her outfit, y'all. Let's get a picture. Let's pose her. Ooh, okay. She is working it. Now let's do an excited look. All right. Let's do a thoughtful look. Cute. She's adorable. Ooh, okay. Serve. All right, we're done with Rhonda. Let's go back home. All right, so I did send one of these outstanding quality photos to the client. So we'll see here in the next day or so what they think. What to do next? Let's sell actually some of these pictures. I want to keep a few just in case the client doesn't like the one I sent that I can send another option. But I am eagerly awaiting the payday for that photo. Let's keep that one. The ones that cost the most money. So the $13 ones. That was it. Hmm. Well, I'll keep this other outstanding quality one too. And is there any in this stack? 13, 12, 14. Now this is the one I should have sent. I didn't know I had one worth $14. It's a bigger picture, that's probably why. And I'll keep this one. Now, what I'm gonna do... Oh, hey Ziggy, what's up? Y'all, his date with Summer Holiday went well. That would be a cute relationship right there. So what I'm gonna do is put these other pictures on the selling table. Oh, the client approved the photo. So that's good news. That's Star Yard Sale. Now we got a good collection of photos here. Oh my gosh, y'all! Our actual model over here, she's loving the pictures of herself. That is hilarious. She's over here. Go ahead and buy one. These are you, girl. That's hilarious. Now hurry up. Buy this stuff. I got to start another yard sale. Man. All right, so she needs to take care of her needs. We have $800, y'all. $833. And we're only going to get more money as time goes on. So we're up, let's get a quick meal, and then I'm gonna go back to the seller's table and pick a couple of these photos to sell. I do actually wanna keep one. Let's keep this one. And let's just start keeping photos of her clients. I guess I should've kept one of that other guy that we did, but I do wanna keep some of these for her future house. And then we'll just sell the rest of these. She's back, y'all. I think she's in love with the photos of herself, which, go off. You should be. Oh, Ziggy said we're fun to be around. I love that. Katrina Caliente is pregnant. That's cute. Oh, we sold out. Okay. Now, let's check the mailbox. And see if we got our photo. We got the photo back. Oh, yeah. So, let's get on home. Let's put this photo over here. And upload it. To Simstagram. And we did gain more followers. We have 180 followers. Y'all, we just got over $7,000 for that picture. I will pick out another gig for her, but we're not going to do it in this episode. We'll do it in the next episode. There looks like there's one for a, a photography level three. So we'll take that 
We need to take a photo of a sim using the fashion studio backdrop. So I'm gonna use some of the money we got to add onto her house and to give her a studio. Hi y'all, this is editing me here. And I wanted to show you guys the thought process behind this thing. And I say thing on purpose because, um, well, I'm not a good builder. I'm, I'm working on it. You know, it's a work in progress. And if I sound weird, I apologize. I have a cold right now. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a little sneak peek into the building process. I know that some people like that. I, uh... I have a, you see, I have a like $47 right now. So my grand ideas that I was going to do in this episode fell way short. <laughs> so she has to have this, um, really old fridge and really old counter, but that's okay. She'll, she'll have a full blooming kitchen soon. And you'll see later that, you know, I don't have a TV. I I don't have like a bookshelf, so we're probably still going to struggle in the fun aspect. But um, yeah, I also on this second floor, I'm really adamant on having a second floor kind of loft like area. She doesn't have a wall to close her bedroom off just because it didn't, you know, it cost too much money <laughs> and she has nothing else in there but a light. So we actually still have a long, long way to go but I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish this in part four we just gotta hustle a little bit and some things are subject to change like wallpaper I don't want it to be brick in the entire house it just happened to be pretty cheap so you'll see me put a little mirror in the bathroom and I'm going for this industrial feel because that's what Annie likes and also, I did have a little bit of a problem with the wall height. So, I tried to make it the tallest wall height, but my game just kept glitching out and wouldn't let me do it. So, I have no idea why. It could be the for rent pack is, uh, is where the glitch is coming from. But, you know, regardless that I don't have the high ceilings that I want for her, it did come out pretty well. I put this little fashion studio over here in the corner. And my idea is that I'll bring clients to her house when needed. Instead of having to go out to location all the time. We should get some really good photos that way and be able to finish our house. So I started to build and I ended up having to delete like you see the fence over there. I had to delete it so that I could get um, stair rails for the inside of the house later on I am gonna build her fence back between the neighbors and make her have more of a defined space give her an outside grill and a patio area I really want it to be lush and lavish Annie's gonna be one of my townies that likes the finer things in life I that's just kind of how I imagine her she's very hip very fashion forward very stylish that's just what I'm thinking but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed editor me popping in telling you kind of what the vibes are and what I was thinking and yeah you know I just thought to myself I don't have a trash can but um yeah we're just gonna have to add that in the next episode what I've been doing is running over to Ziggy's house and using his trash can which I'm sure he thoroughly appreciates. But, you know, he's a good neighbor. He's a sweet man. I actually end up hanging some of the photos of our model. I'm thinking what would be cool is eventually having some really big photos to blow up on the wall of her past clients and it be kind of a portfolio of sorts for anyone who visits her house. But, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so we are back and Annie now has a second floor, you guys. So I created a tiny little fashion studio over here. This took quite a bit of our money. And then I hung two of her pictures over there and added a frame. 
and she's feeling confident because these have an emotional aura. She's got a tiny bathroom over here, just the start of one, and her bedroom's over here in this corner. And at the bottom on the first floor, we ran out of some money here, so we've got an old fridge and counter, but it'll do. We don't have a TV or a way to really entertain ourselves yet, but we do have this rack over here with plants and pictures on it, and it's coming along. So she actually needs to get something to eat. We have a visitor. Let's serve some garden salad. Let's see, are you trying to use our restroom? Yep, I knew it. That's fine. I'm actually, no, I'm not interested, Luna, in joining your club. I'm already in one. Oh, no. She just chopped her finger. I'm sorry, girl. She's not a great cook. Oh, that looks painful. But she'll get better. She'll get better. This is her first time cooking something that's not a quick meal. So it's not going to come out very well. But that's okay. She just got the cooking skill. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Yeah, this seems like a good spot to end with Annie doing what she's doing right now. If you guys are liking the series so far, which I hope you are, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in part four very soon. By the way, if you guys are wondering what the outside looks like, it looks a hot mess because I ran out of money. No, God, please, no, no! 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 To actually do the roof trim and to give it a color. So we're just going to ignore the outside for right now. But I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you very soon. Bye!